Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Sorry I have been missing for a while due to work and my COVID-19 booster shot. It made me unwell for a while but now I am back. When I am away, the Omicron has rocked the market with most market having big corrections. Well, today I am going to share what is going on. Very interesting um, couple of past few days when lots of media reports on coming up with new things about Omicron. So up to now, what we know is that this variant has about 50 mutations, of which at least 26 are unique to itself. Okay. And then in addition to that, they have a class of mutations which is centered around the spike protein. So as we know, the spike protein is important because this is where um, a lot of our vaccine um, induced antibody response are, uh, is where it targets. And at the same time, some of the treatments, the laboratory manufactured proteins and monoclonal antibodies targets this uh, receptor sites as well. So of course, the concern to many of us is that, okay, now we know that there's so much mutation clustering around this binding site. What is it going to mean for our vaccines? What is it going to mean for the treatments that we already have out there? This virus is adapting, changing, mutating because it wants to evade all the immune systems there is. You could even call it the viral Jason Bond, Omicron, the viral Jason Bond. It wants to evade all this and it does it by changing and shifting the spike protein mutation. Now, when the CEO of Moderna came forward and said it doesn't work, he's actually just looking at the antibody arm of it, which is one crucial, important arm, but not the only arm. In fact, he didn't give information, whether it's a two-dose regimen or three-dose regimen. And US, Europe, as well as in Singapore, we are insisting on the three-dose regimen of mRNA now. Is three-dose sufficient? Number third thing, and very importantly, don't forget, for immunity besides the B cell, there's still the T cell arm that's very important. The T cell arm gets trained and relimits the severity of illness. Now, if you look at Portugal, which is a highly vaccinated country, the footballers that fell sick, they're displaying asymptomatic or very mild infections. My hazard, my guess, is that these footballers were vaccinated they may have got an infection because of the failure of the B arm with the evasion, but with a good T cell arm, a good T cell arm, they are able to make a severe disease into a mild disease or no disease at all. And that will spell out to be the pathway out of Omicron for the whole world. Imagine the virus coming in and swarming the whole country. Well, so what if 1% gets hospitalized? But that 1% could overwhelm our hospital care services just like that. Which means we need to monitor carefully and watch carefully. But I'm not too worried because the healthcare system has extra hospital beds now created. You might be familiar with something called community treatment facilities. It's like mini hospitals, they're outside the hospitals so that people can be monitored safely and carefully. Singapore is very, very blessed and so are many other Western or First World countries where they have good treatment modalities available. We have Remdesivir, we have um, uh, Actemra, we have uh, Baricitinib and very recently, Monopiravir was just approved by FDA. With this armaments, we have more tools which can work against the virus. Well, I think the market will continue to do well regardless of the Omicron virus. This is because everyone is ready as compared to a year ago. However, not every stocks will do well. First, try to avoid companies with negative cash flow and focus on companies with strong cash flow. This will mitigate the risk in case of the increase in interest. Next, I will continue to invest in technology companies such as Apple, Amazon, Google, Tesla, Microsoft, NVIDIA because these companies will continue to do well regardless of pandemic. In order to take advantage of the recovery, I would invest in tourism-related industries. An example is the Jets ETF that invests in a baskets of airlines. 
Any hotel or cruise stocks will also do well in recovery. Lastly, I will buy one vaccine-related stock such as Pfizer, Biotech, Moderna, Novavax just in case the pandemic worsens. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. See you next time. Whoa.